The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The grandest work of all, that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones, polished after the similitude of a palace. Psalm 144.12 the tenderest earthly tie is that between the mother and her child. In the children committed to her care, every mother has a sacred charge from God. Take this son, this daughter, he says, train it for me, give it a character, polished after the similitude of a palace, that it may shine in the courts of the Lord forever. This work of moulding, refining and polishing is the mother's. The character of the child is to be developed. The mother must engrave upon the tablet of the heart lessons as enduring as eternity. Child training is the grandest work ever committed to mortals. The child belongs to the Lord, and from the time it is an infant in its mother's arms, it is to be trained for him. The home should be to the children the most attractive place in the world, and the mother's presence should be its greatest attraction. By gentle discipline in loving words and acts, mothers may bind their children to their hearts. There is a God above, and the light and glory from his throne rests upon the faithful mother as she tries to educate her children to resist the influence of evil. No other work can equal hers in importance. She has not, like the artist, to paint a form of beauty upon canvas, nor, like the sculptor, to chisel it from marble. She has not, like the author, to embody a noble thought in words of power, nor, like the musician, to express a beautiful sentiment in melody. It is hers, with the help of God, to develop in a human soul the likeness of the divine. The king upon his throne has no higher work than has the mother. The mother is queen of her household. She has in her power the moulding of her children's characters that they may be fitted for the higher, immortal life. An angel could not ask for a higher mission.